everybody, Craig here, um, and we got a project on our hands, okay? Me and my compadre, uh, Kinsley, aka Daddy Baby, say hello. Hello. All right. So we got projects here, okay? All right. So I used a Corsair Vengeance C70 case. Come next, Daddy. All right, we need to be quicker than that, okay? All right, here you go. You can have the, the basket, the Easter basket back. All right, this is easy. This is just a Logitech uh, um, C930E webcam. Uh, what I looked up about this is it's full 1080p, so it'll look good. And not only that, uh, it's also compatible with Mac as well. So once I get the Hackintosh up and running, uh, this will be good to go. Next. All right. This is Kinsey, I need you right here. You're my sidekick. You don't need candy. Come on, dude. All right, so this is the uh, Intel uh, Core uh, i7 uh, quad core. Uh, it's 6700K, so it's unlocked. Um, I already overclocked it, and uh, and I'll explain more about that when I talk about the board, uh, the motherboard. But, all right, this is the Crucial uh, BX200 uh, solid state drive. Uh, why I went with this for the Windows is because it's uh, the best bang for the buck, uh, as far as I saw, with quality and price. Um, for uh, per gigabyte and uh, it's a one terabyte drive for the Windows side um, so I'll be able to install a lot of games on it all right so these are um, Corsair AF120 uh, 120 millimeter fans I got two purples two reds I think the uh, color combination looks good I'll let you decide for that okay I also got uh, the Gigabyte, uh, let's see, it's a GCWB867D-I. Uh, basically, this is a Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth card. Really wasn't too concerned about the Wi-Fi because it's hooked up LAN, but uh, Ethernet. Okay. I'm going to need some stuff, though, later. So, uh, Really not too concerned about uh, the Wi-Fi too much, but uh, the Bluetooth was a big thing because uh, I have an Android phone. I use the Mighty Text app. And um, it uh, uses Bluetooth to send text and stuff like that. So I really wanted Bluetooth. There's a lot you can do with Bluetooth if it's integrated into your system. Next, this is my Samsung Evo 850 uh, solid state drive. This is for the Hackintosh side of the house. Okay, not up and running yet, but it will be. And you'll see later in this video. So 500 gigs, Samsung Evo 850. All right, this one's cool that I want to talk about. So everybody, <coughs> as far as um, CPU coolers go, uh, air is good. Air is a good bang for your buck. But a lot of people go with the Corsair 800, uh, H100i or something like that. Um, and I saw a lot of issues with it and stuff like that. So this one had awesome reviews. It's called LEPA, L-E-P-A, uh, Aqua Changer 240. All right, so this is the power supply. This is the EVGA Supernova uh, 850. Generation 2, um, so this one was definitely the best bang for your buck. All right, so the, I got uh, two 8-gigabyte uh, sticks, so 16-gigabytes of uh, Crucial Ballistics um, DDR4 memory, um, and uh, that's the cool thing about going to this new i7 chip is that um, uh, it's now unlocking the new hardware, USB uh, uh, 3.1 Type-C. So that's also uh, enabled in this new uh, Intel Skylake 6700K chip, uh, and then also DDR4 RAM. So I'm running DDR4 RAM, runs at a lot higher megahertz. So um, do you notice a huge difference? No, but hey, it's the new and improved hardware. Good to go. Um, <clears throat> I got the uh, Gigabyte Z170X uh, Gaming 7 motherboard. It's like about a $200 motherboard, but it's really, really nice. Um, uh, I thought it was perfect. Again, I see all these reviews and stuff like that. People like to knock stuff. I don't get it because uh, I had no issues with this board. It's awesome. And I'll tell you a couple good features about this board uh, and why I went with it. Number one, it has a USB Type-C 3.1. So I definitely like that. Number two, it has um, M.2 slots. Uh, I think two to be exact, so that's cool. Uh, if you don't know what M.2 slots, it's the new uh, PCIe flash memory uh, and it's uh, way faster than solid state drive. So leaves my options open for the future um, so I like that uh, and uh, the last part um, I want to talk about is um, the settings that it has in its BIOS real super easy to use and stuff like that but another cool thing is um, 
in the BIOS, uh, okay, I want to overclock to 4.6 gigahertz, and it takes care of everything. It's set on auto, and uh, and it's cranking. So I definitely like this uh, uh, motherboard. Really nice uh, pickup, so I liked it. So, and last but not least, the graphics card. I'm going with the uh, Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti. So those are the parts. I'm going to build them, put them together, show you what it's, uh, what it's like when we do. So uh, just pay attention further into the video and we'll show you what we did with all these parts. Later. Say later. Later. All right, so as you can see here, this is my final build. Um, this is uh, the case is the Corsair Vengeance C70 case. I like it. Um, it's almost like a military ammo box kind of thing. Um, it has uh, some handles on the top you can use to pick up with. If you need to get access to it, you just undo these latches right here and go ahead and pull this out. I have uh, two 120 millimeter fans right here uh, blowing air out. Really, really good airflow. Uh, so as you can see, this is the final build. Anyway, so we'll start off with power supply. We got a 850 watt EBGA um, Generation 2 uh, Supernova power supply. Modular, really awesome, uh, 80 plus gold. So for the price, you can't beat it. So we'll go on, we got two eight gigabyte sticks of DDR4 RAM. Uh, NVIDIA GTX uh, 980 Ti, this is a gigabyte, uh, right off the Tony Mac website. Uh, uh, this is a gigabyte version, so um, awesome graphic card, good solid graphics card. This is a LEPA Aqua Changer 240 liquid cooler, 240 millimeter radiator. It does a really, really, really good job at uh, cooling. However, I did have to do some finagling to get it in there. I had to reverse the fans. The fans actually blow down instead of up and out. It blows down, but I have good airflow going through the case, so it pushes it out. 120 millimeter fans right here, one right here, so uh, the airflow goes through and blows uh, right through the hard drives, keeping them cool. Uh, I got an eight terabyte hard drive right here followed by a one terabyte uh, solid state drive for my Windows side, and then the uh, 500 gigabyte solid state drive that I have for my Hackintosh is sitting over there. I'm about to do the install here in a minute. The, what I wanna talk about is uh, this guy right here, which is the Bluetooth, I think it's 4.1 um, wireless AC uh, card. So we all know when Yosemite came out that they have uh, continuity and handoff. And uh, it goes through Bluetooth. So if you want those features, you're going to need Bluetooth, uh, whether you get a, a one with a, a motherboard with your Bluetooth already uh, integrated, or you get this, which um, if you look at the boards that integrate Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, they're very, very expensive. And this was only like, I think like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. So it wasn't bad at all. Uh, it also includes a USB 2.0 port, which comes in handy because as you see, my Hackintosh install USB is connected to it and it needs to be connected to a USB 2.0 drive uh, uh, or port uh, and I have all USB 3.0 ports so um, this actually came in handy with that too and I have I had all this 100% working except the audio uh, but good news is is I have a Bluetooth uh, connection so I have Bluetooth speakers and so now I have a 100% working system because I use the Bluetooth audio uh, and last but not least we'll go ahead and go over the uh, Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 7 board and uh, this is a really solid board, a lot of ports, um, a lot of good features. Like I said, I'm not going to go over it too much, but uh, anyway, this is the, uh, the finished product. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, get this fired up and install some Hackintosh now that I got everything all figured out. Remember, a couple things I forgot to mention was, uh, uh, one is my Gigabyte Z170X uh, motherboard here. The Gaming 7 motherboard comes with optical audio uh, connection. So I actually like that um, because uh, not only do I have my Bluetooth speaker, which is my Amazon Echo, uh, but I also have optical audio cable running to my Samsung TV. So I have, um, so I have uh, sound over there too. Um, also, I forgot to mention that I have a uh, LG Blu-ray burner uh, for my disc. All right, well, that was my video. I hope you liked it. Um, so we went over the build, the parts. Um, we had Daddy Baby in there helping me out, being the number one helper. Um, what you could do for me after all this um, is like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And uh, also in the comments, uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. Tell me uh, if there's a video you would like me to make. Um, if there's an app review you would like me to do, 
and uh, just, just let me know. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, I'm really excited about my Hagintosh. Hopefully you're going to get one soon and be excited about it as well.